All right, let's look at the second part of not pulling the trigger, and that is being too keen. And this was kind of something that got me uh, in trouble quite a lot in the beginning days when I was uh, very actively scalping DAX and crude oil. Um, and, and really, if you look at the scenario again, uh, you know what, let's make the board a little bit bigger here um, so we can use a big chart. But, you know, if you think about the scenario, so we're back to number two here and it's uh, keen. Uh, probably find a better word for that. Um, but anyway, if you look at that chart again, then we've got the low, goes to the low and back up. This is our little standard setup example. You know, one, two, uh, three. What is being too keen? Well, being too keen means that this would be your normal trade point and you've got your filter filter in. Being too keen would be, you know what, uh, I just want to get a bit of a head start on it. I'm going to go long here because it's 10 ticks away. I'm talking from a day trading perspective here as well. It's 10 ticks away and... You know, if it goes up to my target here, which is 50, I'm going to get an extra 10. I'm going to be so good. So you, you jump the gun. You go, it's almost there. Criteria one is met. Criteria two is met. Uh, criteria three is so close to being met. I'm going to take it. I'm just going to take it because it looks good. Yeah, right. It looks all right. The volume's good. You know, I, I'm easily going to do that. And if it doesn't, I'll, I'll kind of scalp it out for a quick 15 ticks. You know the score. If you've been in done that, it probably sounds very familiar to you. So... This is what happens, you take the trade, the worst thing ever happens is that it goes up to your target. You think you're a freaking genius. You're like, listen, I've just made 50 plus my 10, I've just made an extra 10 because I saw that bad boy coming. I knew exactly what was gonna happen. I got involved in that and I made myself an extra 10. Aren't I the best trader in the world? Now, of course, all you're doing, as the same with the fear aspect, is you're just cementing in your brain the, um, the bad habit, you're basically reinforcing that behavior of, listen, if you jump the gun, you're gonna make more money. Now, of course, the other thing can happen is that you jump the gun, the thing fails, you take a stop out, and in reality, if you'd have waited for that, you wouldn't have got a stop out. And that's the real kind of issue, is that, you know, if you extrapolate that over several occurrences, that's not gonna work. Now, listen, you've got to, we're not confusing the fact that that may be a good place to enter, which is fine, but you have to, Judge that based on doing this, you know, 50, 60, 100 times. And then you've got your chart, your printouts, however you do your journaling. And you say, hey, you know what? If I just took it a little bit earlier, uh, you know, nine times out of 10, I'm going to make more money on it. And actually, the time I don't, it works out more profitable. In that way, that's fine. That's a, the that's a correct way of adjusting your strategy. But just to go from the fly and just pull the trigger too early just means that you're you know, you're kind of, you know, you're not giving yourself the opportunity to, to make the profit that you, you kind of should be making from that strategy or not. It may, be, it may not be a profitable strategy, but you'll never know because you're pulling the trigger too early. Now, psychologically, what does that do to you? Um, you know, you're kind of, you want to make more money all the time. That's the reason you're pulling the trigger because you believe that, um, listen, to make money, I have to be in the market, right? I can't make money unless I'm trading. Unless I'm trading and bringing money and I can't make money. But you have to have the calmness and centered ability to say, well, actually, the money is made from sitting on my hands. If I can reduce my losing trades by 10%, 20%, 30%, 50%, I would make so much more on my bottom line at the end of the month, the end of the year. So in actual fact, waiting until I have the criteria of one, two, three, and then pulling my trigger is the sensible thing to do because a lot of the trades are going to come and not going to make it. They're not going to make it. They're not going to make it. The best ones, that's why I've got this as a filter area, are the ones that are going to actually finally make me the money. That's a pretty bad pound sign, but you get the idea. In fact, can you get the idea what I'm talking about there? I think you can. Hopefully you can. So that's kind of the point. You've got to give yourself, in both of those scenarios, whether you're pulling the trigger are too early or tr pulling the trigger too late. The main reason to not do it is to give yourself the data and the structure to be able to improve as a trader. If you're not sticking to the trading setup you've got, how can you ever improve? When you're looking through your database or your file or wherever you're keeping your records and you're looking at that setup, you're saying, it doesn't work, doesn't work. You don't know it doesn't work because actually you pulled the trigger when you shouldn't have pulled the trigger. Um, I know it's just reinforcing bad behaviors, reinforcing shooting from the hip, it's reinforcing adding extra cognitive load that you don't need in your mind, and it's just generally a bad thing. So try that. If you're putting the trigger a little bit too early, you know, try, uh, or too late, should I say, you know, being a bit gun shy, try knocking down the size a bit because it becomes meaningless, and then bring it back up again. That's a good way of doing it. And if you're, if you're pulling the trigger too soon, the best way of doing it is just to say, listen, I'm just throwing money down the drain here. It just does not do me any good to throw money down the drain. 
Um, I need to find a position size I'm comfortable with. I need to find a setup that I'm comfortable with. I need to go back and have confidence that that setup needs to be waited until it's fully done. It's gone through its full cycle. It's activated every single filter before I take the trade. Otherwise, you know, by pulling the trigger too soon, I'm saying to myself, I don't believe that your research that you've done in the cold light of day outside of market hours to create this setup is correct. I think that's nonsense. That's why I'm going to go ahead of it. And so you're almost going against your own strategy and your own research, which is just worse thing for your mind because it really drags down your emotional capital. So something to think about there, some points to think about uh, for pulling the trigger.